Hello, welcome to the Haiti.Ushahidi.com tutorial part two. In part one, we learned how to submit an incident report to the site, and now we'll see how to access the reports. Let's start by clicking on reports. This is a list of all of the reports that have been submitted to the site, and then you can select an individual report to view it. You can see the location, the date, the time, the category, and the English translation of the original Creole. The red legend signals the location of this particular incident. That's a slight contrast to the home page where the red circles signal a cluster of incidents. We can click on that incident, or you could view a nearby incident, which is shown in orange. Let's click on that. Now we're looking at the nearby incident, and if you click on the category, you can view the list of incidents filtered by category, in this case by food shortage. To review, you can view all reports, view an individual report, you can filter the list of reports by category, and we also looked at how to use the map to access individual reports. Now we're at the home page. Notice that you can filter the timeline of events to specific dates. Now let's filter by category. We'll look at medical emergencies. And then you can press the play button. And now let's scroll down so that we can see the timeline again. And you'll see the daily display of medical emergencies. Let's talk a little bit about map navigation. You can use the plus key, of course, to zoom in. The minus key will zoom out. Use these arrows to pan the map. You can move to the east and the west and the north and the south. You can also pan the map by clicking and then dragging the map. Press the shift key and then create a box to zoom in on a particular area. You can click on a cluster and then further zoom in or out on the map, or you could also select the number of reports to view them directly. Let's review our growing list of functions. We started with these four. And we also covered how to filter the map by date and by category, how to play the timeline, three ways to zoom, and two ways to pan the map. Let's take a look at one more map function, the Layers icon. By default, the base layer is OpenStreetMaps, but you can change it to Google Streets or Google Satellite or the terrain layers. Let's turn off the roads. You can even turn off the reports. There's also one more place that you can find layers on the home page. You can scroll down and look for other layers, for instance, Aftershocks. You can download all the reports by clicking on the link at the top of every page. You can choose which data points to download. You can filter by date and then press download. They're downloaded in CSV format, which can easily be incorporated into a spreadsheet. In this case, I'm opening up the application in OpenOffice Calc. We can accept the defaults. And here's the spreadsheet. Let's right click and then copy the link address. And then you can go into reader software and add a subscription. Here we're pasting the feed URL into Google Reader. Finally, let's look at how you can set up report alerts on your mobile phone or email. You can select a city or location by clicking on the map. You can modify the radius, fill out your email address or phone number, and then save the alert. Here's a review of all the methods we covered for accessing incident reports, including downloading reports, RSS feed, and getting alerts by phone and email. 
Thanks for watching part two of the Haiti.Ushahidi.com tutorial.